Previously on Shannon's Supercar Showdown. When faced with arrow carts, <laughs> girls were way off target. Oh, I've got no hope. Leaving sure footed Jesse to climb to the top. That's cool. <laughs> while Sarah stumbled and fell. I had a one in ten chance to get to the Bathurst 1000 and I failed. Eight contestants remain. Who will be sent home next? Week four at Brit's base camp, and New Zealand-born Andre is missing home. Yeah, I'll be turning 17 while I'm here. So it's very hard. I think I've been away more than I've been at home. Today's the big day, and in an effort to cheer Andre up, the boys have a surprise. We um, got together a cake for Andre's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Our other international import. Texas Ed is puzzled by our strange Aussie customs. You do this hip hip hooray thing at the end that's, uh, you, know, you stop singing and that's it. There's some other nonsense you could put on the end of it, but it's not hip hip hooray. We didn't actually know that we gave him some trick candles, which you can't blow them out. <laughs> While his teammates party, lovesick Ryle pines over girlfriend Casey. It's so hard to, uh, to not be out of contact her and stuff. It's been probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. We get off the bus and none of us have got any idea what the challenge is going to be. Arriving at the challenge, we open up the doors and... <laughs> There's the simulator sitting there. Yes, hello again. In front of you, you see two state-of-the-art SimWork simulators. So, you guys will be racing in pairs today, and for some of you, this will be the closest you get to Bathurst. But for one lucky winner, it means a night away from base camp, 10-pin bowling, with all you can eat and drink at Strike Bowling in Melbourne Central. Woohoo! I'm really, really keen to win this challenge. I've got 10-pin bowling back at home with Casey a fair bit, so I'm, uh, I'm going to give it a good crack. <laughs> The track is an exact simulation of the Bathurst circuit. And straight shooter Jesse wants to be king of the mountain. I've got a simulator at home. I think this will give me a pretty good advantage. But he'll have to beat father of two, Andrew, first. Go on, Ivac. Show me how it's done. <laughs> Jesse has made it through to the next round. Fashion designer Ryle and party boy Glenn are next to go head to head. But can a distracted Ryle focus and chalk up his first win? I spend my nights, you know, chilling out with my girlfriend, not playing computer games. A trigger happy Ryle has jumped the gun ahead of the green light. And he's demanding a restart. <laughs> Watch the timer. So I was watching the timer. Mate, do you do that in the race start as well now? Yeah? You don't look at traffic lights. Bit of pressure for me. I think I was uh, looking around at everyone going, what's going on? Get a restart. See you, mate. Boy, I'll wave to you on the way past. <laughs> Doesn't matter how good you are. I'm thinking if you stuff up, you're gone. Simulator reward challenge, Hothead Ryle has blown it. See you, mate. Ryle's false start means he's out of this race. And he's not happy about it. Uh, I cracked it because 
the other guys knew what to do because they've got simulators I've used them before, so I think I just jumped the gun a bit and that was it, so I cracked it. So unfortunately, well, you did jump the start. Raul got rolled up. <laughs> he lived up to his name. Bloody <laughs> Wendon. These little exercises and challenges are uh, sometimes a little bit pointless. Journalist Samantha is up against birthday boy Andre. Good luck. <laughs> I am so freaking out of my depth here. To add to the pressure, 33-year-old Sammy will have to close the generation gap if she wants to succeed. I don't think we're old, but people like Amok and myself certainly don't have access to a, a simulator and we wouldn't pile our money into it. 16 years Andre senior, Samantha has spent her hard-earned cash investing in her future. I compete on the National Tarmac Rally Circuit and I actually ended up marrying my co-driver. And it's very unusual to have a married couple in the car, let alone one where their wife has the steering wheel and the guy calls the pace notes. Mind you, he loves it. It's the only time he actually gets to tell me what to do, and I have to listen. <laughs> Andre. Come on, Andre. <laughs> Andre, you're doing nothing. <laughs> Andre's done. Yeah, unfortunately, Andre whipped my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Ed has proven he doesn't suffer fools lightly. Oh, good luck, Texas Ed. Today, he's up against 19-year-old Melbourneian Jack. Uh, at the start, I took the lead going into turn one, and uh, I ended up uh, punting me into the barrier. Good, how's it going? So I want an official ruling on that one. <laughs> I can choose shoots. Cool, right? So what's, yeah, uh, what's yeah. the rules on that? Uh, I might think I win. Let's so see. this is, Arkin it's bumper a, cars, doesn't matter. 12 seconds. Yeah, that's really? how it goes in Australia. Yeah, that's how Australia does it. Does <laughs> it does it. <laughs> Do we have a referee here? Yeah, unfortunately, um, it's Jack's today. Sorry about that. Jack was eventually given the win after my protest to the steward. <laughs> this close. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Sorry. I'm not here to charm people, and, and unfortunately, my, my competitive side is, is exactly that. It's, it's not very charming. <laughs> In the semis, Andre takes on Jesse <laughs> and wins, while Glenn defeats his roommate, Jack. It's Andre versus Glenn in the final. Yeah, I've got a simulator at home. Um, I've spent a lot of time on it, so I'm fairly confident. You got this, Andre. You're a little bit behind, mate. Hold on, mate. Smoke me. Yeah, I bit Glenn, and it wasn't easy, but it was really rewarding. Yeah, it was his birthday today, so good on him. He needed a win. It was quite close there with Andre. You have won the race. Uh, you do get to go to strike bowling. Who would you like to take with you? I think uh, Jack, if he wants to come, maybe. Cool. Have a great night. Let's take a look at the Seiko leaderboard. This morning, he was tasting birthday cake, and now he's tasting victory. After a controversial reward challenge, birthday boy Andre is the clear winner. We arrive at bowling and we walk in the door and I was quite surprised there's a bit of a nightclub sort of atmosphere. Uh, yeah, it's really good to get away from base camp. I'm actually have a, a chance to relax after four weeks here, so yeah, we really enjoyed that. Next, a difficult elimination challenge oh. tears one team apart. We're really in trouble here. And later, elimination looms. Supercar Showdown track, our eight remaining drivers are in for a big surprise. We're standing there and I see Rick and someone else walking towards us. 
against Jim Richards. Seven times Bathurst champion. As most of you know, Jim is an absolute motorsport legend and Shannon's ambassador. We're lucky to have Jim join us today as a guest judge. I'm thinking, brilliant, one of my motorsport heroes is here. I hope I can impress him. It's a bit of pressure now, you know. Today's challenge is all about driver changes. Jim, why are they so important? The time you lose in the pits, you may never be able to make up on the track. It's so hard to pass a guy on the road, easy to pass him in the pits. Just remember, guys, this is an elimination challenge and someone will be going home tonight. So what do you reckon? Would you like to see us give it a go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK, after Jim comes in and brings the car to a complete stop, he's putting it in neutral and unbuckling his belt while I'm opening the door. I'm jumping straight into the car. Make sure the pit speed limit is on and gently move out back onto the track. Guys, just one more thing. In this week's elimination, you can select your own pairs. Good luck. Driver changes are all about teamwork. The contestants will need to complete three laps of the track and two successful driver changes. In the lead up to Bathurst, drivers spend hours perfecting their routines. But our rookies only have 10 minutes to practice. It takes hothead Ryle seconds to realise he's not happy with the partner he's chosen, Sydney cider Andrew. Well, they're going to take into account the difference in size of us. Because uh, it's like... All right. This is going to be a f nightmare. Uh, Jack and Glenn, same size. Ed and uh, Sammy, they were already paired up, so I was left with my roomie, uh, AMAC, which I was a little bit peeved off about. This thing could be totally out of my power if uh, my teammate's not up to scratch. The pressure is on. Hang on. One of my belts dropped inside, so I had to get in there and get, you know, get the inside belt out, and that slowed us down a little bit. Here we go. Two dramas. So how'd you go? All right. A bit difficult with the uh, the, the belts. <laughs> Two buckles right up here. But there's never two the same size in any no. way. It's been a terrible run, and Ryle's quick to point the finger. AMAC wasn't up to scratch. Um, I was a bit peeved off about that, but... To avoid elimination, our drivers must impress seven times Bathurst champion Jim Richards and team owner Rick Kelly. Straight shooter Jesse gets his team off to a good start. Come on, Bill. It's really tight. But Andre pulls up short. Not good at all. <laughs> a little bit short on your stop here um, in the box quite a bit. Yeah. I do think after that mistake, I am going to go home. If you forget but, but... something at Bathurst, you're in deep trouble. While for roomies Glenn and Jack, this elimination challenge is a breeze. I come in, get it perfectly in the grid box. It was a really smooth, you know, changeover. Nailed it! <laughs> Last to compete are Ed and Sammy. The only thing they have in common is a mutual dislike of each other. And as we start to try and practice, we realise we're in trouble. It's not going to work, mate, because I ought to get to here. <laughs> we're at a real disadvantage here. Everything is against us. Ready, go. So I've exited pit lane, gone to second. If we were meant to be in first gear in pit lane. Lone Ranger Ed doesn't work well with others and has no intention of changing his ways. Oh dear. I can't take this one. regretfully managed to run over a cone. That was a, a stupid mistake. 
you stopped short in the box both times. Yeah. Um, you would throw the fuel guy. You generally wouldn't even be able to reach the, the car with the fuel. I've shut it. Really disappointed. Oh, the stress. Before an elimination, you never feel cozy and secure. I'm walking to elimination, I'm feeling very nervous. I am actually worried I might be going home. I don't want to go home, I'd like to win, that's why I'm here. Before you stand two helmets. If your name appears on one of these helmets, it means you perform the worst and you could be going home tonight. But before we do that, Jim, thanks for being with us this week. Who performed the best from your point of view? I think Glenn and Jack performed well this week. For me, they, uh, they worked very, very well together. They hit their marks on the grid. Nailed it. So that's the reason for me. Thanks, Jim. Both Jack and I were stoked to get good feedback from such elite guys and to say, you know, we've done a great job was certainly confidence boosting. This week, there's a bit of a twist to the elimination. We've decided to bring forward the worst performing team. That team is... If you can't wait till next week for more great action from the show, why not head to our website, where thanks to Shannon's and Kitten Car Care, you could win the incredible chance to join the Shannon Supercar Showdown team at Bathurst as our official team detailer. To enter, head to shannonsupercarshowdown.com.au. And while you're there, don't forget to click on the Shannon's Club logo. It's Australia's newest online community where you can share your passion for cars, motorbikes and more. This week, there's a bit of a twist to the elimination. We've decided to bring forward the worst performing team. That team is... Samantha and Edward. Guys, please step forward. I figured that I was going up there because Sammy had made a few mistakes. Aren't you supposed to shift responsibility for your shortcomings onto other people? Really not a nice moment. Sam, you're here because you made a few too many errors. Changing into second gear before leaving the pit road and not stopping on the designated mark. I get a little bit of an explanation of why I'm there from Jim. That hurt. <laughs> I won't deny it because I'm a hero. Edward. You're here because you also knocked down a couple of cones out on the track, and you're a little bit slower in the driver change than we would have liked to have seen. Damn. I thought I did a pretty good job. Dropping out of the race is... Samantha. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I just feel numb. I just feel a whole lot of regret and a little bit of anger and disappointment. Come on, give me a <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for her, you know, she's been doing a great job. It's uh, sad to see her go. Oh, mate. I did have a chance to drive at Bathurst and it's gone. Bummer. It's a, it's a hard way to go out. It's very disappointing. Only seven contestants remain, with Samantha sent packing after a disastrous day on the track. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Do I feel like I've done female races proud by getting as far as I have? No. We've got to be twice as good every time. Because it's just so easy to write us off. The funny thing is, out of all of this, I don't feel like I've lost anything. I feel like I've gained. <laughs> I tried something completely new and different. You know, I've had an amazing time, but I'm ready to go back to my life. I'm ready to go and do more things and keep racing, definitely.
You've seen them in the show, and now thanks to Shannon's, the insurer for motoring enthusiasts who love cars as much as you do, you could win a sensational Renault Megane RS250 Cup valued at $42,000. From one of the largest manufacturers of racing cars in the world, Renault Sport, this awesome bit of kit boasts a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine cranking out 184 kilowatts of power. And add to that, Grant, performance-tuned suspension, four-pot Brembo brakes and 18-inch alloys, and you've got one very good reason to enter. Plus, you'll be completely covered because the Megane also comes with 12 months of Shannon's comprehensive insurance. To enter this exciting competition, visit our website, shannonsupercarshowdown.com.au. Next time on Shannon's Supercar Showdown. The rookies are pushed to their absolute limits. Oh. And a wet track sorts the men from the boys. Oh.